Uh, it was great. I mean, you know, just having the, you know, the competition I've had against those guys in the last few years. Uh, um, you know, it's great to have them on your side. You know what they're capable of. You know what they bring to the table, and you know their professionalism and all those things. So uh, it's great to definitely have them on your side. When, uh, when the game for you guys was ending last night, the Lakers were still playing, but a lot of the ball ended up getting triple doubles. The youngest guy in the yeah. history breaking your record. I was just curious when, when something like that happens. Does it make you think back to when you were that young, and also any thoughts on? It definitely thinks back to <laughs> I think back to when I was that young. And, um, there's not many games that I can remember when I was 20 years old or 19 or even 18. So, um, you know, first of all, congratulations to him. I think I mean, he's going to be a really, really good point guard in our league. Probably a great point guard. He continues to work on his craft, which uh, it seems like he does. Uh, so, um, you know, they got a good one. I think he's just taking the lead role on the team, along with some other vets that they have on their team. But you know, his game speaks for himself. I think he's carried on from what he did in the summertime, you know, to now, and uh, you know, he's playing exceptionally well. Have you seen the team play much since uh, I have not. I have not. What do you think it is that would have made Dennis Smith thrive here as a next? Um, I just think that. Um, his athleticism, um, his playmaking ability. Um, I've been knowing the kid since he was 14 years old. So, um, you know, I know what he's capable of. And I wasn't throwing shade at, at Frank at all. Um, for people that got their uh, pants in bunches and things of that nature here in New York, I look for any controversy here. Um, you know, I was basically stating what I saw in Dennis Smith and, and what I saw from him and him coming out and watching the draft. and. You know, thought that he would be a great fit here with Brzingis. You know, and that's not to saying that Frank won't be a great fit. I haven't seen much of him. Um, I knew about him from my best friend, who I went to high school with, who actually played with him. Um, you know, overseas the last couple of years. But I mean, it's the same if I. I mean, I think Deshaun Watson should be a Brown. Doesn't doesn't mean that Miles Garrett is not a going to be a great football player. But Deshaun Watson should have been our quarterback. It's the same thing. It's not you shitting on the next guy. It's just that you state what you see. That's all that is for clarification of, of people who just live in the box. And for Enos Cantor, who always got something to say, he says, I don't know what's wrong with him. Uh, oh, yeah, it's definitely a shot at him. That's for sure. <laughs> so it was LeBron. It was intentional that you brought up the Knicks that night. Uh, well, when I was watching the draft, I thought they was gonna pick him. <laughs> and you know, I talked about it with people that I know the game, that knows, knows the game. I know what Dennis Smith is capable of doing. And I knew the Knicks was looking for, have been looking for a point guard. Yeah. Am I stating things that's false? No. I think I'm, this is facts, right? So. I thought they would pick him, and they didn't. But um, like I said, there's no no shade at uh, at Frank. I don't even know the kid. I wasn't even thinking about the kid uh, when I was talking about Dennis Smith. I was thinking about the just the Knicks organization and and Phil Jackson at the time, and Dennis Smith's talent and Przingis, and that's all I was uh, thinking about. So, where did you know him from? Just from play in the summer? Cool. Dennis Smith. Where do I know him from? Yeah. I've been knowing him since he was in high school. He yeah, went, so he went to one of your camps. <laughs> yeah, right? I've been knowing Dennis Smith since he was 13 years old, so I know what he's capable of. Uh, he's he trained with me a few times in my hometown of Akron at my high school, so uh, I know what he's capable of. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I don't care. It's, what? It's gonna be worse here than I felt before in my career. Just stating facts. That's all. Have you seen Dennis Smith play? Yeah. Have y'all seen him play? Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, good play, man. Get out of here. Y'all tripping here. Y'all be tripping here. Next do, question. Do you have any, uh, obviously you mentioned Phil just now. We know what happened with some of the comments, and I'm sure you saw the way things went with Carmelo here. Do you have a little sort of disappointment in the way the Knicks have? No, nah, I don't. No, because it's not a, it, Phil was just a, a small piece of it. He was a big piece of it, actually. Um, 
I don't have no problem with the Knicks organization. I don't. I, I wasn't here, I mean, so I don't know the insights and, and everything. I'm, I'm a fan of the game, you know, as well. And it's it's great when the Knicks, the Celtics, and the Lakers are great in our league, all at the same time. It's it's best for our league. So, um, but I don't have no uh, I have no wrongdoings from the Knicks organization. I don't know how they, you know, I mean, we all know how they handled the Carmelo situation, but. Um, you know, I'm not a fan of Phil Jackson, though. I think you guys already know that. That's not, that's the past stuff, though. He's not even here anymore. What, what strides have you guys made as a team since you lost to the Man, I don't know. I just want to get better. That's all. I'm not in Cavs mode right now. <laughs> about the show watch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the truth. Am I lying? What all right, I'm done. Appreciate it. Thanks, yeah, guys. One question? No, Thanks, guys. Quit.